Hello everyone. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. So in this video, we are going to see how to create the glowing river effect. So first of all, we need to create a landscape. So in order to create that, just we need to press shift A. And first of all, let us delete this cube and just press shift A and go to mesh. And here you can see there is an option like landscape. So first of all, if you want to see this option, we need to, and we need to enable an add-on. So in order to do that, just we need to go to this edit preference and go to this add-ons and make sure you have to enable this option like ANT landscape. So after enabling this, we can able to see this option here. So just I will create a landscape. So defaultly it will create a mountain. Uh, so if you want to change it to like a river model, here you can see there are some settings. So click on this and here you can see there are some presets. So here we need to select the river. So first of all, just we will disable the water plane here. So if you come down here, there is an option like water plane, just disable this thing. So now if you want to increase the size of this river, uh, here you can see there is an option like mesh size. So here I will give the value to like six by six. And also if you want to make any changes for this uh, texture, just we can use this size option so that according to your requirement, you can match this thing. So let's say I will change the value of this size and also just in this figure. So it depends on your requirement, you can change the shape of the texture over here. And also if you want to increase and decrease the distortion of this river, uh, here you can see there is an option like distortion, just you can increase and decrease the distortions of this river. So for this tutorial, uh, just I will use the default value like one, or else if you want, you can decrease more like 0 0.8 or something. And also if you want to increase the height of this, uh, you can go down here, you can increase the height of this river. So it's up to you. So at present I'm going to like give the value to like 0 0.3 or else just you can increase more. That's fine. And also just if you want to make the flat over this river, you can use this offset option so that, okay. So this is okay. And also just I will increase the height a little bit more. So this is looking good. And also see uh, whenever we increase the height of this river, now it is creating the flat over this corner. Uh, so if you want to increase, you can increase the value of this maximum. So let's say if I give the value to one so that it will increase this. So now it will not create any flat over this corner here. And also if you come down, you can see there is an like amount of layers. So if you want, you can increase the number of layers by using this thing. So for timing, just let it be like an one. So now these are the base settings. So you have to play with these values until you get the desired output. So for this tutorial, this is fine. And now we need to create a domain for this object. Uh, so domain is used to create the fluid effect in that particular region. So just uh, I will create a domain by using the cube. Just I will uh, create a an cube and scale. And also scale in this uh, x axis. So just like up to here, it's fine. So if you want, you can go to the Y frame mode. So just so this is fine. And also, just I will move it a little bit up. Okay. So make sure we need to cover this domain uh, where we are going to create the river effect here. So just now we have covered this. Just I will move in the x axis. So this is okay. And also make sure just we need to rotate a little bit so that the whenever we create the river from this side, it will flow towards the down direction. So make sure we need to rotate this. So just I will go to the side view. And now I will rotate in the x-axis a little bit. Okay, that's fine. So that whenever we create the fluid, so it will just flow towards this direction here. And also in the side view, just make sure you need to set this domain size properly. So just like S and those I will scale in the y-axis. That's fine. So now in order to create the river, we need to create the plane here. So just I will press shift A and click on this plane. So just for timing, I will go to the y frame board and now rotate it in the x-axis like a 90 degrees. So that's a 90 degrees and just adjust uh, the corner of this river here. So just I will select this plane. So now we have just set the plane here. So just I have placed it the corner of this river so that now the river will flow in this direction here. And now we need to assign this as a domain. So just select the cube and we need to go to this physics tab and just we need to select this fluid and just we need to select it as a domain. And also here the domain type, we need to select it to like liquid. So now what the thing is just here, we can give the resolution. So how much detail you want to create the fluid, just we can give the resolution here. So for time being for this tutorial, just I will give the value to like 300. And also we can come down and just we can disable all this uh, borders means like whenever the liquid go out of this thing, it has to like disable the liquid over here. So just we can enable and disable. So just we can disable this front and bottom. And now if you come down uh, here in the 
cache tab, uh, you can see there is an option like type replay. So we need to change it to like modular. And also like we need to select this is resumable. So what is the use of this thing is whenever we bake this thing, uh, we can able to resume this and we can able to start again. And also the format value, we need to select it to like unicatch. And here you can select the range uh, up to where you want to create the cache for the for this tutorial, like uh, 250 is fine. And also we need to enable the mesh. So literally when we uh, like create the cache, it has to be converted into the mesh here. And if you want to uh, flow the river a little bit slow, just we can uh, like decrease the time scale. So if I want, you can give the value to like 0 0.5. And also if you come down, if you go to this liquid settings, here the narrow band width. Uh, so here I will give the value to like eight or something. So if you want to increase the thickness for this fluid, we can use this option. So the more the value, you will get that much of thickness. So, and also we can enable this fractional obstacles. And now uh, as we want to create the glow effect, so we need to enable the foam particles. So if you come to this particle option, just enable this foam. So by using this, we will create the glow effect for the water. So here in the potential radius and the particle update radius, we need to give the value to like four so that you will get the smoother particle in the river. And also if you want to increase the number of particles here, you can see there is an option like vaporous. So by using this, we can increase the number of particles. So for time being, I will give the value to like 300. And also just we'll decrease the radius of this mesh particle. So here default rate is like two, just we can give the value to like 1.2 so that you will, you can see the smaller radius of this particle here. And also just enable the speed vectors. And now these are the settings in the domain and now we need to select this plane and just we need to select this option like fluid and here we need to select it like and flow and here the flow type we need to select the liquid option and also flow behavior just we need to select the inflow and also in the flow source just we need to enable this is planar so now in this case i want to give the initial velocity for this uh, particle so just here i will enable the initial velocity and here i will give the value of negative phi in the y-axis so I think uh, just we need to give the value to like minus 0.5 uh, and also make sure we need to apply the scale and all the other transform before applying the simulation. So just press control A and just apply all the transformations for this thing here. And now we need to add in collision for this thing. So select this fluid and this is a type of effector. So just select the effector and also just make sure enable this is plane up. And now we will bake this uh, simulation. So select this domain. And just before that, make sure you have to save. And now, so select this domain. And here we need to click on this big data. So just I will click and I will come back. So here now I have baked up to like 100 frames. So we got this nice simulation over here. So now we will bake the particles. So if you come down, uh, so just you can bake the particles. And then now particles has been baked. And now we will bake the mesh also. So now the mesh baking has been completed. Uh, so now if I go to the solid mode, so you can able to see now we got this nice simulation here. So if I click on this play, so we got this nice liquid. So now what the thing is just uh, still we need to add the mesh for this particle. So still uh, it will not be rendered in the final output. So we need to add some mesh. So for that, what we need to do is just like we will create an sphere. Uh, so just I will select this and I will create this UV sphere. Okay. So just I will scale it down very small. So just make it small. Just place uh, anywhere in the viewport. Just scale it. Now what the thing is, just we need to assign this mesh to this particle here so that we can able to add the glow effect for these particles. So in order to do that, just we can select this domain and here we can go to this option like particles. And here we can see there is an option like uh, liquid and form. So uh, for timing, what the thing is, just uh, we will disable this liquid. We don't need any liquid over here. And also, if you go to this viewport display, and now you can see here. So what the thing is, just we need to assign the sphere. And for before that, what the thing is, uh, whenever we apply the sphere, it will get slowed down. Uh, so here I will decrease the amount of particles in the viewport. So for time being, just I will give the value to like 1% or something. Sorry, actually, we are selecting for the liquid. So just I will undo. And now here we will select the form. And here just I will decrease the amount to like 10% uh, or something for time being. Now we can able to see this less number of particles. But later in the final output, we can increase this amount to 100%. And also, sorry, here we need to select the render uh, as an object. So first of all, we need to select this render as an object. And now here in the instant object, uh, we need to select this sphere. So now see it has been added the sphere particles so that we can add the glow effect. Uh, so say now if I give the value to like 100%,
So see, now it has been added the number of pairs and the thing is the viewport is getting very slow. And now I will just uh, disable this option uh, here, the viewport render, so that now it will be fast and we can see the particles only in the final output here. And now what the thing is, we need to give the glowing effect for this uh, sphere, which we have created for the particle. So just I will select this sphere and here in the material tab, just click on this new material. And here we will go to the shading tab. Uh, so select this shading tab. And now what the thing is, just we will delete this uh, principal BSDF. So here we need to add an emission shader. So just search for emission. So select this. And just we need to connect it to like surface so we can change the color so for, for this tutorial just i'm making uh, it like a blue color so select this and here we can give the strength so one which we have seen in the starting of the video just have given the value of 10 so just i will give the value of 10 here and next we will add the shader for, uh, like material for this water so select this and click on this new and delete this so we can add the glass shader so just we can add glass shader BSDF and we need to connect it to surface and here we can give the value of IOR to 1.33 which is like uh, for the water uh, suggest I will enable this thing uh, so I will just disable this flow light and just we can increase the world opacity okay that's fine and also if you want to give the color just we can give the color like bluish color and also we will add some volume into the water uh, so for this I will take an principal volume so select this and just we will connect it to like volume and also just here strength i will give the value to like 0 0.5 or something and also we can uh, give this uh, with the blue color so now if you are happy with your values so just we'll uh, start rendering so before that uh, just we will select this with the cycles okay so now we got the cycles and also just we'll set the camera so for timing i will just go to, go to the material view and i will go to the camera view and just I will uh, zoom this camera. So just I will press N and I will go to the view and just lock this camera. So just we'll make a close look over this thing. Okay. And just I will unlock this thing. And also like uh, we need to add the like HDR lighting, which will be like a uh, night kind of lighting here. So just I will go to the world. So now we need to add an environment texture. So environment texture. So just I will select this. And now I will uh, add the like HDR image. So in this case, I'm going to use this image here. Uh, so for this HDR, the night uh, light here. And now we'll see, uh, we will render this thing. And also just we will render by using this GPU and just click on this render. So see, we got this nice uh, glow effect. And also we need to give the material for this surface. So I will show the final project of this thing. So I have added some of the like assets by using the pixel bridge. So I will open the project file. So this is the project which I have used for this thing. Um, means like I have created the river as I shown in the tutorial. So, so just I have added the some of the models by using the pixel bridge. So this is the thing. And also just I have created some camera animation for this thing here. Yeah. So in this way, we can create the glowing river effect. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.